Hello Mac Warriors and welcome to a new episode of the Build of the Week. Today we are playing a short range Thunderbolt build with 7 medium pulse lasers. For this build I chose the Thunderbolt 5SS because of its insane quirks. Look at this, we've got energy range 10%, energy cooldown 15%, energy heat generation 15%, missile cooldown Okay, we don't need that, but medium pulse laser range 15%. And the best thing about it, they add up medium pulse laser range plus energy range is a 25% bonus on our main weapon. And on top of that, it has some nice little structure quirks as well. So let's have a quick look what I put into this baby before we hit the battlefield. Okay, we have seven medium pulse lasers, five in the torso, two in the arms. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty simple medium pulse laser straightforward build. So we try to squeeze everything out of our quirks that we can. The rest of the build consists of a standard engine 300 which brings the smack to a solid speed of 80 kbh. And we need that because we are pretty close range and we need to close distance very fast. Uh, another benefit of the standard engine of course is that we are not that vulnerable and we can yeah, spare a side torso. The rest of the mech is filled with heat sinks because when we are in the middle of the fight we need a decent cooling to keep the damage going. And our left arm is for defensive purposes. We need to torso twist a lot with this build and this is a perfect shield. So there is maximum armor and no equipment in it. We can easily turn it towards the enemy. Let's have a quick look at the modules. The good thing about having only one type of weapon here is that we can put the appropriate modules into the mech. Uh, having the medium pulse laser cooldown and range module pushes our bonuses even further. In close range sprawling builds I like to have a radar deprivation module and a seismic sensor because I like to know what's going on around me and if I need to get out I want to hide for a second. Uh, there the radar deprivation helps a lot. And for the consumables I took two cool shots. I really like these emergency buttons because sometimes you just have to keep up the shooting. And that's the 7 medium pulse laser thunderbolt. It's time to hit the battlefield. Okay, we are playing Grimplexes in domination mode. And as you can see, I have two main firing groups here. The first one is all five med pulse lasers in the torso, and the second one is the two med pulse lasers in the arm. I personally like to have them uh, in separate groups because I don't like to generate ghost heat. That's uh, yeah, a thing I try to avoid. Uh, of course, you could toggle on arm lock, um, and again, I, I yeah. I like to have an open arm so that I can adapt to enemy movement very quickly. Um, that's just a personal thing, I think. Yeah, but mm -hmm. apart from that, okay. the build is pretty much straightforward. We have seven med pulse lasers, and what we are trying to do is we find ourselves an enemy, we fire our two weapon groups, uh, one after another, and depending on the situation, then we toss a twist or we are going back to cover. Uh, that's the thing we should do, because this is a short range build. And once we are in the fight, we struggle a bit to get out again. So we better kill our target, or at least, yeah, protect ourselves. So, first thing we try to do now is, yeah, find an enemy. And it seems that there is somebody behind that pillar over there. Yeah, and my team is already shooting at them. And in addition, we have some buddies on the left, which are doing the flank maneuver with me. So let's just go in and try to shoot at them. Oh no, okay. And unfortunately we found a Warhammer who is pretty angry at me. So let's back up a bit and go in again. The yeah, problem is that my torsos are now open. Good thing is that we are running in standard engine here, so losing a left or right torso is not a big deal. And on top of that we've got some nice little structure quirks which make us a little more tanky. Let's kill that Arctic Cheetah really quick and then deal with the rest. Okay, there's a Wolverine coming in. Oh, yeah. The Gauss Rifle hit me. Who's playing a Gauss Rifle in a Wolverine? Okay, uh, guess so. Uh, yeah, he's faster than me, so he will try to run, I guess. Um, and there are a lot of enemies on the other side of this building. So I better stay behind for a while, because if I engage now, they will just kill me. And look at that summoner here. He has both his PPCs in his arm and once the arm is gone I'm completely ignoring him. Sure, I could have 
gone for the kill, but there is no point shooting a walking stick. Really, don't do that. There are so many other targets which still have weapons, so let's prioritize them over anything else. This marauder over there is our perfect target. He is facing directly away from us, so we are not risking any backfire. And unfortunately our last hit didn't hit properly. Maybe we can get the kill. Let's see. Uh, wait a moment, who is shooting me in the back? Uh, oh, there's a Jenna. And, yeah, <laughs> there was a Jenna. Mm, but you see, the, the medium pulse lasers, they are very deadly at close range, especially for lights or medium mags. So if you can, try to focus weak spots or the legs of light mags, uh, especially when you are firing the 5 mid pulse lasers of the torso. Yeah, apart from that, my team is pretty much dominating the map at the moment. There's just one enemy left, uh, okay, there he goes, and I think that's it. Okay, we won the first game, the second will come in a second, but before that we will have a look at the end screen to see how much damage we dealt with this 7 Mad Pulse Laser Thunderbolt. Okay, we dealt 664 damage, we had 3 killing blows, 7 assists and 10 components destroyed. Yeah, that's, that was a pretty nice game. Okay, we took some damage in the early game, but through good positioning and a bit of luck, we still survived. And that's it for the first game, let's dig into the second one. So, this time we are in Tourmaline Desert and we are playing Conquest. And the key to survive in such an open map is mobility. Yeah, we have to be in constant movement and our radar deprivation will help us a lot here, so that we don't get focused. Um, that's the whole point. We just want to pop out here and there and shoot while we are walking, but standing in the open is just a thing we try to avoid. So here we have our first target. Um, it's on the ridge and it's not focusing us, so we can get close to our optimal med pulse laser range and give him some volleys. And now that we are hot, we are just getting back to cover, cool down a bit, and then we can go in again. And it seems that my team is pushing the right, so we are going with them, shooting some shots on the run. But what we really want is going around the corner and give the Marauder hell. So we have the whole team as our backup, so it should be pretty safe to push a bit. On the left we have still the, uh, I guess it was a Mauler who was standing on the ridge. And he is pretty much damaged in the center, so let's try to get his attention and then core him really quick. Yeah, you see, Mad Pulse lasers, they do so much focus damage in close range. Okay, we've got a light mech here, a uh, Jenna 2C, and as I said before, try to hit weak spots or if you can the legs. The legs are crucial to light mechs and once they lose them, they are just food. Okay, manage to leg him, manage to kill him, and down he goes. Yeah, and our team has a very good momentum at the moment. We've got a lot of kills in a very short amount of time and what we have to do now is we have to keep up the pressure. We only have one capture point at the moment while our enemies have three. So if we can manage to kill them now really quick, we have a good chance to win this game just by easily capping the rest of the capture points with an empty map. So the best thing we can do now is to force a brawl. Let's uh, try to close in on the enemy. Uh, we have an overwhelming power here. We have a lot of heavies, uh, including us. And there are only a few enemies left. Okay, there are two more and I'm focusing the scarier target. And as you can see, I'm firing twice and then torso twist away from him. Okay, now I lost his attention. And it's time to deal with the Storm Crow. Because if he is focusing me, there will be a good chance that he will kill me, and I try to avoid that here. Okay, same thing, shoot twice, twist away, and shoot again. Yeah, you have to be a bit aware when you are at max heat. Um, just delay your shots a bit and uh, you should be fine. Overheating should be avoided at all costs, because this is a short range build again, and if you are shutting down right in front of the enemy, you are just dead. That's uh, yeah, that's the end of the game for you. But apart from that, the build is pretty okay on its heat management. Just get to cover from time to time and take your time to cool down. And yeah, you should be fine. And here comes the last enemy. It's a spider and I'm again trying to lag him by focusing my 5 med pulses to the legs. 
and it worked out pretty fine so far. But unfortunately, he gets away, and yeah, I'm not able to shoot at him anymore. So someone else got a kill, and I'm fast forwarding here a bit because the rest is just capping, and we all want to see the end screen, and it should pop up in a second. There we go. Okay, we dealt 561 damage, got two killing blows, eight assists, and only two components destroyed. Okay, can't have a large number in every game. But yeah, I had a lot of fun in this game. And again, the key was our mobility. We kept the pace and when we had the momentum, we kept the pressure up so that we just destroyed the enemy team. And that's it for today. And if you liked the video, I would really appreciate if you would leave a comment or a rating or even subscribe to the channel. I'm doing the build of the week every Wednesday. And yeah, if you liked it, come back to see more. So that's it for today. See you next time. Goodbye.